All right, so today's video is about a small ATV. I paid $50 for the ATV, another $250 for a motor and a wiring harness, and a whole bunch of stuff to make it work, and basically a parts thing. So, yeah, we're gonna be making a running, driving ATV out of this. Um, it doesn't fully get done in this video, full disclosure, but uh, I wanna try to get it ready before 300 subscribers. I can't promise it's going to be out though. Parts are taking a while to get. And uh, I'm having to order everything. So, yeah. So stay tuned. Uh, this video should be pretty fun. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too boring. Not too talkative. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So, I bet you're wondering what we're doing out here. Well, this was the 300 subscriber special. Okay, well, we're, we're putting that off. Because of the fact that it's not going to be done for a while because I'm waiting on a motor and it's never showed up. So, what is happening to this thing? So, let's talk about it. So, the other day I bought two ATVs. I bought this ATV for $50 because the motor on it had a lot of pieces missing. Um, the wiring harness to it was pretty chewed up and pretty messed up. Um, but we were able to get spark and there's a little bit of fire out of that carburetor. So I probably could have made this thing right. Okay. But the exhaust manifold bolts are broke off inside the block. So that would have took some doing to get out. But regardless, it would have ran. Okay. This is a very fixable engine. So I was like, okay, I have this one. Okay. Now the main reason that I bought this one. Okay, so let me get into this crazy story real quick. So, I picked this thing up at the junkyard a while back for $70, all right? It had a motor on it, but it was missing literally everything. Carburetor, starter wire, everything was missing off of it. So, I pulled the motor off of it and I was trying to find another one to go on it, all right? So, in the process, I managed to find this little one. Now, they may not look very much different in size, but this one is a good bit smaller than that one. Um, that one you can pretty much haul two people comfortably this one you could haul two people but it's a bit of a stretch okay so that kind of tells you the difference but regardless this thing was fifty dollars okay and it came with like i said that that motor and that shoot up harness okay but i was like i'll just fix this thing and sell it and get my money back so okay so i find another one <laughs> a third atv to once again try to find a motor for that one all right, because we're going to fix this one because there wasn't really anything wrong with it. The chassis is great. All the wheels and tires hold air. Um, the brakes don't work, but, you know, none of the brakes work on anything ever when I get these. So I'm not really too shocked by that. But that's it. You know, everything works. So I was like, okay. So I bought this one to put the motor on that for. Now, turns out this is the exact same ATV as that one at least it's the same motor and drivetrain and everything because this is a 125 cc coolster and this is a 125 cc coolster with the exact same engine on it and this one is a 2019 so this the story behind this over here jumping back to this i know i'm jumping around a lot i hope you're keeping up this was a brand new atv when the dude got it so this guy's this uh this guy bought it for his daughter. Okay. She wrote it a little bit. He got mad at her and shot it with a shotgun. Okay. After that it was all to the scrapyard, but it was grabbed with the claw. Where this was done, the rear swing arm he said was busted when he got it. And you know all of that crap up there was done where the shot got broke and all that. And this frame's all mangled. I mean it's there's, a, there's about nothing on it that's straight. So I paid $250 for it. Strictly because of the fact that when I got it, I got to hear it crank up and run. Okay. And with a cold start, it crunk after the first few tries. So that was awesome. So I basically paid for a brand new motor. Okay. When I got back to the house, I realized it would work perfect on this thing. So, yesterday, I decided to not record for some reason and go ahead and swap it onto this frame 
because these are apparently exactly the same and while it would have been great with that my dad thought that it may not push it quite as well as we would hope for so we're going to do something else with that one we're maybe thinking along the lines of predator and they sell these little transmission boxes they give you forward and reverse i don't much care about gears i just like to have forward and reverse with that atv and i want to make it kind of an off-road type of thing so that's why it's got the big old tires on it's got 22s on the back and 19s on the front and i Alright, so camera's a little weird right now because it's super hot outside and super cold inside, so it's kind of fogging up there. But um, yeah, I don't want to make a super long video on this thing. Uh, I, actually, I got the motor installed here. Uh, it's not all bolted in yet, but it's in there. And um, yeah, I messed with that carburetor. I, I got it to fire, but I, I mean, it runs actually. It just, there's something wrong with that carburetor, and it's got them welch plugs in it, and I just. I got this other carburetor sitting in some cam dip, but uh, I need something for this motor for another build. So, might try to stick with that carb for that. But uh, yeah, I went ahead and ordered a new carburetor for this thing. So, that should be on its way. But uh, I was doing some welding on it. And I got these little foot pegs welded on. And then this axle was actually bent real bad. So, I ended up straightening it up. And it may look a little crooked right now. But that's because the motor is not exactly straight and neither are those things that I welded on there because I kind of crudely welded them. I mean, as you can see, I've just kind of got a big piece of scrap there that I didn't feel like cutting down. So, yeah. But I ran out of welding wire. So, I got this, I got this pretty much welded in right here. And this should keep it from bending again. Uh, it's kind of bringing another support and for bringing them two together. Uh, I wouldn't actually mind having another one of those on the bottom, but uh, I would have had to done that. I would have to remove the axle again, and I don't much feel like doing that. We'll see if that fixes it. The bottom didn't really move much. It was the top that gave an issue. So, yeah, I welded that in. That's in there pretty good. It's still hot. But my welder actually ran out of wire. So, I got to order some more flux cord. And uh, I got this. wired to this little toggle here my push button didn't work but this works so i'm going to try to order i'm going to order some wire anyway i think i'm going to order an actual push button for it that way i can have push button start and uh, i tried to mess with that this original thing here and and there was not this one but another one and i i couldn't get it to work to save my life i i straight wired it to that and it ended up burning up the switch because I guess it drew too many amps and got the wire too hot. So I, I'm done with it. Uh, I'm just going to put it on a push button. I'm going to put a fuse in line and I'm going to call it at that. So I crudely threw this thing together for a 300 subscriber special. And I wasn't able to record any of it because of all of the loud music and partying that's been going on here lately. Because my audio has been bad. So I'm recording now. Unfortunately, I already kind of made a makeshift starter. Just kind of wired the little push button there. And, um, yeah, we have a kill switch up here and a key here. More or less. Is it tied in place? So it works. But I was taking this thing on its first test run earlier, and I was going to come back in. You know, see what it would do. And um, even though this thing's a basically a brand new motor, the carburetor I wants to cut out real bad, and it is leaking out of that bottom vent tube, which I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do. So we're gonna take the carburetor off of it and go through it, and uh, I might call about a kit. And then yeah, but this thing, man, I took it out for a small test drive, and it is quick, very quick. And my battery seems to be staying charged.
Okay, so that button's not really working all that well. And these wires are getting super hot. We're going to have to do something else about that. Um, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. I know it's taking me a while to get it out. I have been busting my ass on these projects. Uh, I was working on a go-kart for a while, and then I got to a stopping point where I'm waiting on the motor. And, uh, yeah, I just I, there's not really enough content for me to post because a lot of it's just cutting out and welding, and I can't record welding with this camera because I'm afraid it will damage the lens. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Um, sorry. COVID's, COVID's got me. I ordered the motor for that thing two months ago. And I had videos for it. I was posting the boat series. And, um, yeah. I have one more boat series video, but I'm waiting on it. Because I don't like the way that... I don't really showcase it on the water. And I want to do that for you guys. And, um, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. Um, hopefully this will be done. I can get this full done before the 300 subscriber special. These parts are, these pieces are coming from Amazon and Amazon has been getting my stuff to me. Unfortunately the motor for the go-kart was ordered through Harbor Freight's website. Because uh, I can't find any Predators in the store within like 300 miles of me. I even went to Florida on vacation and called around down there just to see and nobody had them in Florida either so yeah still waiting on a Predator 212 and I really want that to be my power plant. Um, yeah, and my welder ran out of wire today, so this is it. We're done with this video. Um, like I said, thank you very much for watching. Sorry for all the ums. See you guys in the next one, I suppose. <laughs>